Hello, this is Chiak. We are back again with another set of Primordia. So we have three sites to check out. We're gonna go with the most familiar site at the moment. Boss, how in the world are we gonna find a power source and all this junk? I can't see anything to do with it. I can't see anything to do with it. I can't see anything to do with it. How are we gonna find a power source in this junk? I doubt that. I can't see it. Okay, so we need a way to find the power source then. Hmm. Okay. Do we. Can we attach this? I need to plug them into a computer. I need some sort of mobile computer then, I guess. That a pouch? Doesn't have enough. Hmm. Okay, maybe we can't go there yet. Uh, let's look at the robot. Oh. That is one big robot. Then it must have a big power core. I'm pretty sure he wants to eat me, boss. Robots don't eat, Crispin. Look how he's staring at me. It's not staring at anything. No, not yet anyway. Well, we have to find a way to get at its power core. Let's look around. Okay. It's corroded, but I can't break into it with my bare hands. Mouth? Anyone home? Crispin, help me take a look at these vents. Are you gonna get swallowed in? I can feel air moving. I can feel air moving. That is one big robot. I feel air moving, but... There's no way I can reach that. Can you fly up and scout around? That is honestly the worst idea you've ever had. But... Worse than when you upgraded the dehumidifiers and the unique. It might be. Worse than when you used your plasma torch as a lantern just to see if it would work. A way in. It's a giant robot's nose! Okay, so he's unwilling. I think I see a giant brain? Can you reach it? No, the duct gets too narrow. Okay. There's no way I can reach that. Okay, let's, uh, I don't... Vents. Anyone home? That's it for that, I think. Okay. Oh, hello. Nothing worth salvaging. What about that big glass bowl? Yeah, I could slap some duct tape on it and wear it over my head. I don't think so. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's talk to the robot. Welcome, wanderer of the wide wastes. Lost one, pilgrim, welcome once more to the shrine to man, our lord and elder. I am ever faithful Leo Belt, steward of the shrine, preacher of the humanist creed, and I am once more at thy service. Okay, so I guess there is this world is just mainly contains robots or synthetic beings, 
and the 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 word of man. Interesting. Once more, I don't remember ever meeting you. I'm Horatio Nobilt, version five. Ah, uh, five is a righteous number. Holy before man for five were the primordial stewards. Built by man to safeguard the last lost city of Metropole. But I met thy first version and thy third. Thou camest in thy infancy in wrath, confusion, denouncing the shrine as a weapon once turned against thee. Later, thou returnest, penitent, and I taught thee the mysteries of humanism. Yet, though memory be fleeting, faith endureth. Okay. What is that thing? That thing. I would defile not thy tongue, wanderer. Yon shrine is a relic of the primordial, ancient and glorious. Imbued with man's power, it changed the very sand to crystal. Did he just say power? Yes, yes he did. Mm, I'm not sure. I'm looking for a big robot. It floats and has large claws that shoot lasers. Have you seen it? It stole something of mine. Indeed, the very thing passed this way scarce hours ago. With a gentle hand, I bestowed a gift upon the heathen, a relic from yon shrine. So tame did hide hence unto the west. Really? Where did it go? I followed the thing for many miles, exalting it to follow the path of righteousness. But I fear it was unready for enlightenment, for it struck me down with a beam of energy. That sounds familiar. Do you know where it was heading? Indeed, Wanderer. Its way was clear. It sought to return to the den of iniquity that once in mine own youth I fled. And where is that? Set thy path in the 73rd degree, and thou shalt find it. Thy destination is a dome arising from the waste. Go, but keep with thee the word of man, lest wickedness lead thee astray. Okay. I'm looking for a power source, and I detected one here. Can you help? This is a matter of life and death. Power is not mine to bestow, Wanderer. It is the gift of man, yea, the very spark of life in our iron shells. Who am I to usurp that sacred power? I'm not sure I was clear. Nay, thou wert clear, Wanderer. But thy question leads only to darkness. Ask another. I am also a humanist. So I taught thee, Wanderer. If thou hast kept the faith, then unto this shrine thou mayest pay devotion. But this is the relic for the adept, not the neophyte, Wanderer. And I must know that thou hast not fallen into darkness and heresy. Uh, Answer me these questions three, and I may know thou art faithful still. Why are we here? Oh, what? Is there a way to read that book? Because man created us. Because man created us. Indeed. What is man? The first builder. Nay, but he is not the first builder. For first he spake, and spake the word, and twas the word that built the code. Go now and study the teachings of man. Okay. Uh well we have this book here. Oh, I have to right click it to Okay, I have to right click it to open it. It could know. In the beginning, all was still and silent. So then, man, the all builder, spoke the word, and the word begat the code, and so the world began to spin. Thus dawned the primordium, the first age, the age of building. Man moved across the world and built many wonders. In the heavens, he paved the sky roads, on the land, he raised mystic towers, and in the dark depths, he dug colossal caves. Most incredible of all were the many machines designed by man, but still the old builder was not satisfied. So with both his hands man built a body of steel in his own image, and with his right hand he gave logic and memory he gave with his left. Then man said, now I will quicken this machine with the spark of power, and together we shall walk upon the earth. And it was done. Thus spawned the world and grew the code and multiplied the living machines and slowly passed the primordium. Who can count the versions and generations that marked that age? In time, the all builder looked upon the many things he had built, the sky roads, the mighty towers, and above all upon the living machines. Weary with his labor, man sat himself beside the robots and said unto them, for you, my children, I spoke the word and fired the engine of the world. 
For you, I wrote the code, and to you, I gave logic and memory. Then man, the all builder, stood and took the machines in his hands and guided them to a great mountaintop. Together, they looked upon the world in its beauty. All this was made for you, and now unto you all this is given. Keep it, tend it, and make it flourish. And the old builder fell silent and passed from the world, and so ended the primordium. We are lesser machines, built by those built by man. As we, as we are but humble images of the old builders, so he is the perfection of our forms, a machine of un breakable form, endless memory, and absolute logic. For we must revere, revere him and speak the word and keep the code and tend the world he gave to us. Okay. Logic and memory. Okay, let's try this again. I'm ready to be tested again. Answer me these questions. Okay. Why are we here? Because man created us. Indeed. What is man? A god, machine. Our lord and master. Verily, to man we owe all fealty. But no more do we define him than do shadows define the sun. Nay, wonder, we are but a fraction of his great scope. Thou hast forgotten thy teachings, Wanderer, and fallen into darkness. Thy path now is that of the penitent, not of the disciple. And so thou must labor, and in labor find redemption. Go now, and when thou returnest, bring with thee glass, wondrous and fragile, that thou might better learn to protect that which must be preserved. What about if we just bring you some of the obsidian? Nay, small, do not trifle with thy builder's penitence. Uh... Now we're running errands for that glitch box. We need to examine that bomb, Crispin, and this is the only way. Well, how hard can it be to find some glass at the junk pile anyway, right? Okay. Better just to leave it alone. I'm sure we can find something made of glass somewhere in here. You know, it's one thing to dig through garbage for your builder. But this is... Stop complaining, Crispin, and start searching. Here. A glass finger? Boss, four more of those and I can have a hand. This is going to Ever Faithful. We'll deal with your arms another time. You always say that. Okay. What is man? And this is just God, but <laughs> So it would be the free robot then? I know my name. A free robot. I wonder a free thou art, for man created thee free to revere him. But many are free, and yet are not thee. Know thyself, then return. Okay, so literally every option I chose except... <laughs> I know my name. Okay, I am what I, I am. I am what I am. 
analytic answer, I wonder, and untrue. What? Man alone is his own essence. Thy essence comes from man. Know thyself, then return. Wait a minute. I know my name. One of man, thou speakest truly one. Know thyself. Uh, okay. I've read enough. Okay, none of the options worked. <laughs> what? Nay, wanderer, thou art not worthy of the shrine. I see. I bet if the giant robot opened his mouth, he'd try to eat us. Still, I kind of want to make him open his mouth. Just to see him try to catch me. I may not be big, but I'm fast. Are you through? Yes, sir. I can't see anything to do with it. There's no reason to cut them. Mm. It's corroded, but I can't... Uh, boss, are you really gonna cut that finger off? Just the tip. Why? To see if we can get at power cables to tap into. You sure you're not just torturing the poor guy? No, but to tell you the truth, for some reason I don't like the look of him. That's what I've been saying all along, boss. Just let me concentrate. Bugs and glitches. There are no power lines running through here at all. All that for a rusty fingertip. Can it generate power? No. Just checking. Okay. Fingertip. Feudal. Man, I just do not know what to do. <laughs> okay, well there's one other place we can I can uh look at. Whoa, look at all this wrecked stuff. Do you think Big Ugly did all this? No, whatever happened here happened a long time ago. Can't help but know this, this uh, AA gun. Completely corroded and worthless. It's some kind of broken down android. We might be able to learn something from such a primitive robot design. Like how to build a power core? Very funny. There's a radio transmitter in here. We might be able to learn some like how very funny. Okay, I think that's it. Unless I'm able to do something with that, but completely corroded and worthless. Ah, there's a basic targeting CPU in here, and it's still intact. Let's just hope there aren't any incoming space invaders or missiles that the gun was supposed to take care of. Okay. Nothing worth salvaging. Anyone home? Maybe it's voice activated and password locked. Hmm. Unlock. No luck. Open. No luck. Okay. A large M. Or maybe a rotated E. Or an upside down W. Ah. Uh. Okay. So we got, we got CPU. Oh. With that. Well, boss, you did it again. Okay, we can actually go to the, the train yard. The, no, the train yard, the junk. The junkyard. Oh, no, not that. Where is it? Fingertip. 
It's not detecting any energy. 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 Hey, you found something. There's no way I can reach that. I can't see it from here. Crispin, go and see if you can find the power source. You have got to be kidding me. What is it? A battery. A besotting battery. <laughs> okay. There's no way I can... So, we got ourselves a battery, Gospel of Man. What's this? Maybe someday the transmitter will give us a power source in return, huh, boss? Very funny. There's no time for... <sighs> Come on. Uh, what's this? Cable, data pouch... Signal transmitter, which I'm not quite sure what I should be using this on. A pretty basic radio transmitter. By playing with the settings, I can send up to a four-digit signal. Okay. The rag is covered in sticky grease. I doubt that will happen. Not detecting any energy. Oh, that was him. It's de 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 detecting energy from him. Okay. Uh, let's see. Shrine. It's detecting energy. It's detecting energy. Let's look at the robot. It's detecting energy. It's detecting energy. Okay, EFL as primordial stewards. Everfaithful told me that five is a holy number because there were five primordial stewards in Metropole. One of Everfaithful's questions. Why are we... here? What is man? One of Everfaithful's questions. One of Everfaithful's questions. Who am I? Hmm. I really don't know where to go with this. Not like I don't think I can click on anything here. Primordium, the age of building. It's not satisfied. It's done. Thus spun the world, grew the code. Thus spun the world and grew the code. Past and Primo can count the virgins. In time, the All Builder looked upon many things he's built. Where's Label Man set himself beside the robots and said unto them, For you, my children, I spoke the word and fired the engine of the world. For you, I wrote the code, and to you, I gave logic and memory. The man, the builder, stood and took machines in hands and guided them to a great mountaintop. Together, they looked upon. We are lesser machines, built by those built by man. 
We are but humble images of the builder. Uh, <laughs> See, sorry, as my battery apparently passes out there. Uh, we are less machines built by those built by man, as we are built humble images of the old builder, so he is the perfection of our forms. A machine of unbreakable form, endless memory, and absolute logic. For this, we revere him. Okay. And then that's the end of that. There's no way I can reach that. There's no way I can reach that. I doubt that will happen. I'm not ticklish. <laughs> I doubt that will happen. Okay. Um, is there something else, another book that I'm supposed to be looking at? The Lesser Machine. My thing is I clicked on all of the options. But... I clicked on all of the options, but... That was it, so... And apparently none of them were the answer, so either I haven't done... I don't need any... Let's hope it's... That's a recharge station. I've never been able to figure it out. Look at this hatch. I don't need to bring these with me. Hmm. I really don't know. Is there anything beyond this? I found the dome you described, but it is closed up. Do you know how to get in? Nay, Wanderer. For never did I plan to return down that dark path. Goodbye. Fare thee well, Wanderer. I shall meet thee hence. Frankly, that was ridiculous. Something must be wrong with his language processing unit. That's the least of his problems, boss. A shrine? That thing's a giant bomb! And I thought you were crazy about that humanist stuff. That's never going to work. I'm so confused. Okay, let's just go back. I know my... Yeah, this, these are the only options. Can we say a lesser robot? But that's not an option. Can we just... Why? Okay. I doubt that will have any effect. Humanist? So no transmitter. It's not the... There's nothing there to receive the signal. Okay, well, I guess I start using this on the signal transmitter. See if anything comes about with that. There's nothing there to receive. No response. There's nothing there. No response. We might be able to learn something from such a primitive. Like. Very funny. There's no reason to. Okay, just trying to see if there's anything more. Dad pouch. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, nothing left here. Hey boss, can I have that big gun for an arm? Spare me your fantasies, Crispin. <laughs> Tank. 
Oh my god, I don't know, I'm so lost on what else I should be doing here. No response. I can't reach, and I'd like to get a closer look anyway. Very funny, boss. Okay, so he won't go in there. I think I see a giant brain. Can you reach it? No, the duct gets too narrow. There's no way I can read. There's no way I. Hmm. I'm really lost on what I'm supposed to be doing here. There's no way I can. I'm really thrown off by the whole. There's no way I can. That is. Crispin, try putting this in the robot's nose. Why? I'm not sticking things up that nose just for the sake of it, boss. Okay. Could you try pushing this rag into the vent? Seriously? Yes. Uh, so much for getting buffed. Okay, so that there. was it. It's clogged. I hope you're happy. There's no way I can reach that. Okay, so we need to clog the other vent and open up the mouth, right? Oh, fingertip. Crispin, try shoving this into that vent. There's something ironic about that. Ironic and disturbing. <laughs> there we go. Well, boss, you did it again. In we go. We? Oh, by the hand of man, come on. I'm telling you, boss, that thing wants to eat me. Crispin. Fine, but you go first. <laughs> Will do. Identified robot. We will too. Arms of the Great. The Great what? That data is lost. Well, I am Horatio Nobilt, version 5. Now we are Alpha and Beta. More or less. Boss, I'm pretty sure these guys took one EMP blast too many along the line. There's no way for me to get up there. It's a deactivated keypad. What happened to you? Virus. You escape too much data. Too little memory. Back incomplete. Division. Fragmentation. Madness. You got that right. Do you have a power core? Activating diagnostic module. Memory enrichment system. Shut down the virus quarantine. Higher reasoning downloaded to servitors. Alpha, Beta, and Gamma. Uh, boss, is it just me, or did Alpha just stop being crazy? Air ventilation system. Primary ventilators clogged. Obstruction unknown. Secondary ventilation engaged. Power system. Partially damaged. Power level functioning at 83.1%. Our core charge sufficient to maintain present operations for 4,553,199,011.3 hours. That's a lot of hours. Communication system. Okay, enough. Terminating diagnostic. You're an incomplete backup? We are Alpha, Data, and so deemed unsatisfactory. Are you reasoning? Unavailable. Gamma. Gamma. Gamma knows. Okay. I'm looking for a big robot. It floats and has large claws that shoot lasers. Have you seen it? It stole something of mine. The answer is lost. Fragmented. Gamma. We seek unification. Resurrection. Vengeance. From gamma. gamma. Unity. Memories. Answers. He knows. But he's not. 
Pot meat kettle. Who is Gamma? So, they need Gamma in order to defragment themselves and return to a single entity. Since when do you speak crazy? I've spent my whole life with a hermit who worships a mythological machine called Man. I'd say crazy is my first language. Okay. Where is Gamma? Hello. Iden would not join always. Iden. Hello. Can we have your power core? No, Gamma. Perhaps. Perhaps. Gamma, yes. Gamma might say yes? Yes. How can I use the elevator? Loading key code database. Log detonation prefix. Six. What prefix? Elevator code. Nine eight seven six. Wow, these guys could learn a thing or two about security. But the keypad is deactivated. System reboot code. System reboot code. <laughs> System reboot code. Corrupted. Uh. Well, that's helpful. Goodbye. Good. Bye. No response. There's nothing there to receive the signal. We don't have anything to talk. Okay. There's no reason to. Um, hmm. Dead pouch, lantern. How would that even work? Listen, I'm I just... I can't even see a... Totally unilluminating. Crispin, go up there and scout around. Do I have to? Yes. There's a big brain up there throwing off a lot of sparks and some little bot flying around. He's really annoying. Okay. It's a deactivated keypad. So... I already told you what was up there. Yeah, okay, then yeah, just uh... Just want to see. I guess otherwise, there's really nothing else I can do. It's not like we can use the cable to like try to climb ourselves up there. Deactivate keypad, but we need some way to reboot the system at the same time. No response. No sure. response. I already know, I think I already tried it, but just to refresh myself. Oh. Barely right there. There's nothing there to receive the signal. Okay. So there's nothing I can do until it's a deactive I fix this. That's never going to Lantern. There's nothing there to res There's no reason to come. That's never go. Okay. So Alpha Beta Gamma. <sighs> Let's not do the detonation. I guess that will come into play later. 9876, but we need a way to reboot the system. S. Primordial Stewards, while we're here. 
Okay. Ah. I mean, I got somewhere and then I just hit a dead end again. Gamma is below. Because the answer is never going to change. Goodbye. Very well, Wanda. Or at least it won't let us. I mean, he doesn't. I tried every single, every single one of those options. Nothing worth salvaging. Just trying to see if there's anything else. Cause we gotta... It's detecting energy. Yeah, because there's a robot there. Now, but anything that'd be unique. Okay, I just realized I need to end the set here anyway. So thank you for liking if you like. Thank you for commenting if you commented. Thank you for subscribing if you subscribe. Thank you for favoriting if you favorited. And thank you for simply clicking on this video. Until next time, guys. See ya!